Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite diva here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve the celebrity inspired makeup look. Very soft, very neutral, very camera ready. I was super inspired by obviously Kylie, Nikita Dragon, Desi Perkins, Pia Mia. I love this look and they are always rocking it. So I definitely wanted to do a tutorial on it because this is kind of a look that I would typically wear to events. This look is super long lasting and perfect for photos. So I definitely wanted to show you guys how I personally achieve this celebrity inspired look all the way from skincare to the glam before we get into the video diva what is the tea subscribe okay just subscribe just hit that button <laughs> it'd mean the world to me if you guys subscribe definitely give this video a big thumbs up let me know how you guys like it down below and yeah let's get started So getting into this type of makeup, I like to start off with nourishing my skin. I like to follow the new mochi trend. If you guys don't know what mochi is, oh my god, you need to go to Trader Joe's, find their mochi. Mochi is this like rice cake dessert, so it's basically like rice cake skin. And then there's um, like ice cream inside. It's a Japanese dessert, it's freaking amazing. And basically the mochi trend is just soft, plump, supple skin, and that's what we're going for. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what even is my life? Now that we talked about that mochi skin, girl, let's get that mochi skin. I've actually um, partnered with DHC to show you guys their Udumai collection, which is freaking bomb. I am obsessed with it. Uh, I'm going to first go in with the DHC Udumai soap. I'm going to be getting this soap a little bit wet, you guys. I love lathering it in my skin. And when I put it in the water, it just starts feeling so... I don't even know how to explain it. It just feels so good. This is a Japanese beauty brand, you guys. Which obviously is like, duh, we have to use Japanese beauty brands if we're going for Japanese beauty trends. Duh. Um, but I'm just putting this in my hands and lathering it. That's basically what I do with the soap. And also it's shaped so cute. I love it. The lather is thick, which I like. Because um, you guys know I have really problematic skin and I need to fix that. You guys listen to this. And that, ooh. Oh, it just feels so good. This is not Kylie's skin love. <laughs> we don't want that. We want to look pretty. We want to look sickening. We want to look like mochi love. That's why y'all need to run to Trader Joe's and get your mochi because diva, you are what you eat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just lathering this in, you guys. This has patented rice peptides. Just help get rid of those impurities. This is going to make our skin look flawless, you guys. And by the end of this, I'm going to look like Kylie. Period. Watch. Watch. You'll see. Yeah, so I washed it for a good 30 to 45 seconds. We don't we don't pull a Kylie and Kendall Jenner over here, girl. We actually wash our face. We don't just scrub it, okay? The reason why I love the soap, as you can see, it just rinses off everything. It really just grabs any dirt, any grime, just pulls it right out. My skin definitely looks matte, but it does not feel matte. I do not feel dried out, and that's what I love. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to be using the Udumai lotion, and I'm going to be taking it on a cotton pad. You can see it's just a nice liquid, nothing crazy, no alcohol in this love. And it's a pre-moisturizing toner, which is going to promote that vibrant, soft, and beautiful skin, along with using the rice peptide you guys oh look at this i really like to focus this on areas where i might get a little bit oily because it's going to tone them and toners kind of neutralize the skin's ph and that's what we want so just going to where all my oil glands are basically the insurance to keeping on our makeup all day long next we have the udemy cream you guys look at it. it comes with this super cute little spatula where we don't have to use our fingers and we can just rub this on this is a super super great lightweight moisturizer it also promotes cell turnover and minimize the appearance of pores. So that is so important. You guys can see my skin is coming together. She's nice and glowy. Another amazing thing about this collection, you guys, is that there's no fragrance, just nothing but love. Those rice peptides to really encourage youthful skin, keeping you looking young. We don't want to look wrinkly like a raisin girl. Instead of looking like a raisin girl, I'm going to look like mochi, and that's all I want. So we just really want to press everything in to keep us looking youthful. Again, I love this collection. You guys can check it out in the link down below. Trust me, it will change your skin, I promise. Now that our skin is looking like some smooth, delicious mochi girl, we can get into this glam. So like I said earlier, this glam is all about skin. Thank you DHC for making my skin look beautiful. Now we barely have to prime at all because our skin's already looking nice and smooth. So I'm gonna be using the First Alley Skin Tune Blur. You guys, this primer is amazing. And I'm just gonna be taking this on just the center of my face. 
This is just gonna ensure our makeup to last a little bit longer. Luckily the toner is gonna help with oils, but this is really gonna secure it. So I'm gonna be actually using a makeup product that I see a lot of celebrity makeup artists use. That's the RCMA foundation, you guys. This is in the shade Shish. Shanado one <laughs> and guys this foundation is actually really inexpensive I'm just gonna start off with just taking a tiny tiny bit and just barely taking it on my sponge less is more with this look So I just go in with just a tiny bit and then I'm just kind of go in and color correct and spot correct really get my skin looking even and Where I need more coverage. I'm be taking on a brush. I basically only do this right here and right here just because the rest of the areas we're just going to conceal with concealer um, and I don't want to be adding too much foundation. kind of need more coverage on the sides of my nose as well. So you can see it just has really nice coverage and the finish of this foundation just looks so, so beautiful. It's not too matte, it's not too glowy, just looks like skin and that's really what we're going for. It kind of has everything covered but not full coverage so I'm going to be going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2.6. And this is just my skin color. This is like literally the exact shade of the foundation. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and putting this on areas where I need more of that coverage. The foundation is definitely very buildable, but again, like the more you add, the more apparent it's going to look. So I just like to add enough to hide things. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with my beauty blender. This concealer is definitely not the Tarte Shade Tape. It's very, very creamy. And it lasts such a good amount of time, you guys. I am obsessed with this concealer recently. And it hides everything perfectly. You guys can see I didn't even use that much. And just hides everything. So this concealer is really, really great. And I feel like a lot of celebrity makeup artists use this. Making sure we're just blending everything out nice and seamless. And you guys can see I barely used any foundation. Barely any concealer compared to what I usually use and my skin looks amazing I've been loving this skin trend now. I'm gonna be using the same foundation for contour. This is actually SH4 you basically want to use all creams, which I know can be scary for people with oily skin But I promise you guys this is what everyone's doing. This is what's gonna really give you that snatched ass look this look is all about looking soft, so we definitely want to continuously go in with our beauty blender and just making sure there's no lines. Making sure we snatch up that jaw. But I'm going to have to use a little bit more of this contour because, girl, my jaw is non-existent. There's just four, or five, six chins, and that's about it. So we really just going to take this everywhere down here. I, I know a lot of people don't really show how to contour. You basically just want to cover this whole bottom part and just really chisel the jaw. I don't like taking it up here because I feel like that can look unblended from the side no matter what how much you blend it but when you're turning your head and everything it can look crazy so you just want to make sure you blend out those edges so I even like taking like the excess just on my chin on the tip of my nose and also kind of over my cupid's bow which I know is like weird but I feel like when you put the highlighter and the lipstick on it creates more of like a a flipped effect and when you put on that highlight you guys it's gonna look amazing now I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more concealer you guys literally just like uh, the smallest amount and just putting it right here and also taking it right here I'm not gonna bring it all the way back and then I'm gonna go in with a foundation brush and just tap that out again always tapping motions we don't want anything to be harsh and you guys can see it looks really good I'm also gonna just take my brush wipe off some of that concealer and just get back here as well just to make sure everything is nice and blended I kind of want to bring this back too, just to make my face look more... I feel like a lot of people say like doing this isn't good because I don't know why, but I feel like it definitely is for me. I feel like everyone's face shape is different. I'm also going under my eyes again to get any of those creases because I know I got creases during this. And I'm also going to kind of go over my eyelids just to make sure everything's blended, especially when putting that eye primer. Now let me show you guys a little trick I learned from Arielle, who is um, Kylie's makeup artist, and that's taking your beauty blender, putting it into the powder, and then what you're going to do is just tap it on your hand like this to get off any of the excess. I like to flip it to make sure you get no creases. You're just going to take the powder and just tap on. And you can literally never put too much on this way. If you are a contact wearer, this is perfect for being able to ensure that you're not going to get any 
powder in your contacts. This also just like makes sure you don't get too dehydrated underneath your eye and make sure it just goes on smoothly. I have a little bit of problems with my nose, so I also do it on my nose. Because usually my contour, no matter what foundation I'm wearing, no matter what I do, it always slides off and it's so annoying. So I'm just going to take it on my nose and also just barely in the middle of my forehead because I still want a little bit of glow. And then I just also take it on my chin. This is basically, if you're oily, to do this everywhere on your oily areas. And you can still bake with this, which is also like really great. So now I'm going to be taking it very, very loosely on the other parts of my face where I have my contour and everything, just to make sure everything blends seamless later. Now going in with the MAC Give Me Sun, which is extremely warm, I'm just going to tap a little bit of this and just tap it onto my cheeks, you guys. Again, this is going to ensure it to be soft. I'm going to at least say soft a million times in this video. So just to warm up, just a little bit. We don't want to warm up too much. Guys, this foundation was way too dark for me, but they don't even have like lighter shades. So I kind of just had to roll with it. Okay, so now I'm taking my Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantastic and just applying this just right here on the outer parts, you guys. Because this is a little bit more cool, it's definitely going to give us more of a contour. Just kind of sweeping it everywhere, you guys. You don't want to be too harsh with it. Okay, so I contoured my nose off camera and now we can get into baking, which is really just going to secure everything. And because we did our contour and everything beforehand, this is going to soften those edges and kind of cut a little bit underneath our cheek. And you can really just honestly just like pack on the powder. The whole point of doing the powder earlier very loosely was so we could do this and it not look too dry. So after we've been baking for just like literally like maybe 40 seconds, I'm going to take some more powder on my powder puff sponge and just putting it everywhere. And now my secret weapon, you guys know the Laura Mercier candlelight glow is essential. I'm be taking this and sweeping away all of the powder. If you guys are super dry, this is not gonna dry you out, but if you are afraid of it drying out, just only put it on for a few seconds. I feel like this just really makes sure you are poreless and that you just look super smooth. And this powder, you guys, is gonna bring some light back onto the face. Okay, so I obviously brought you guys in a little bit closer and did my brows off camera, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this eyeshadow look. I'm gonna be recreating this one right here of Nikita from Glam Tech Steven. You guys, this is this the most sickening eye look to me. I just love it. And to start that off, we are gonna be going in with the KKW Beauty Contour in the singles as shade three. We want to go for more neutral, but also a little bit warm. That way we're still getting contour because we're really going to be bringing it upwards to really snatch the face up. So I'm going to be taking it on a nice little tapered brush and kind of just like literally packing it right here. Kind of like where my eye socket is right there. I'm just like kind of pressing it. You guys can see it showed me where to lift my eye. That's just a little bit of a trick. So I'm just going to go ahead and deepen that part up and just start winging it out following that little line that we made. Making sure we are blending out the edges, we want no harsh lines. And we're just really going to bring that up. And you guys see when I look straight where my pupil is, that's where I'm going to kind of stop and bring it up to connect with my nose contour. And that's why this brush is perfect. This is actually the Makeup Shack T67 and you guys can take it up and go like that. That way we have a nice clear base, but I only want a little bit to go that way because it is going into the nose contour. It's kind of going onto the brow. And you can see it's gonna leave this nice and open just like in that photo of Nikita. You guys, this type of look is just so sickening. I feel like this is what all celebrities want. It's what all the beauty gurus want when they go to the special events because on camera it looks amazing. You look really just so snatched. I feel like this is gonna start being the new makeup. I know like there's so many makeup trends, but I feel like this is gonna like honestly change the makeup game. We're gonna be taking the shade right here from the KKW X Mario palette and the shade Miami from KKW Beauty. Oh my gosh, we're staying in the brands. Love that. Mario is always doing this type of look on Kim, so I really wanted to use this eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be taking this right at the top of my eye socket just to keep that contour going. Now taking this shade right here called Decade. You guys do not need to use the same eyeshadows as me. You guys can use literally any neutral, slightly warm tone browns that you have. A contour palette would be literally perfect if you have the ABH one or if you have the Kat Von D one. You can literally use all those shades to achieve this look. Blow off the excess. Again, we don't want a lot of excess. And just start patting this literally right where your crease is. And making sure we are blending it and softening it. And we really want to bring it in to the eye socket area. I know it looks messy, but don't worry, we'll fix it. 
and we're just gonna kind of start softening the edges by patting. And then we'll go in with that brush again with just a tiny bit more of that brown eyeshadow from the KKW palette and just going over the edges so it's nice and blended. Like it's crazy that this look is so simple but if you were gonna get this done by a makeup artist it would really cost you between $700 to $3,000. Like makeup artists in LA girl are not cheap. If you guys would like to see me do a video with a makeup artist and have them do my makeup and compare it to this video, I would love to do that. So let me know down below um, and we can definitely make that happen. So I'm just really gonna brighten up again right here and continuing that shape. Ooh, it looks honestly amazing. Now I'm gonna be taking a lip pencil and this is actually Morphe brushes in the shade Bite Me. I believe these are $3 and they are amazing. I'm gonna take my sponge like a real makeup artist, apply it to my face and kind of just like line the lash line because we are going to be blending it out and this shade is a nice really rich warm brown but we're going to be adding a neutral brown later just to really snatch it so I'm going to kind of snatch my eye back and then I'm going to be taking a little pencil brush and just softening those edges and that's just going to blend really nicely into the eyeshadows as well and then going back in with the contour and the eyeshadow mix them together and just apply that along the edges Ooh, starting to look so good. Now you can kind of see it's really bringing up my eye. I'm going to go in with this shade called, I believe, Loyalty. Right here, just a nice rich dark brown. This one is a little bit more purple based than I would like, but I'm hoping the lip liner will kind of neutralize it since it's really warm. And just kind of adding it like this. Now I am going back into Miami and just really smoking out my lower lash line, but I'm going to kind of stop where you guys can see where I'm like my iris is, I don't know what it's called. And I'm kind of making sure I'm going kind of in to where my lashes are to really make sure it's nice and pigmented. And I'm not going to swoop it under because I still want that pulled back look, so we're only going halfway. Now I'm going to be taking Roach from Urban Decay and just lining underneath there again. This has also a little bit of a sparkle, which I do like, because it can bring more light to the eyes. I'm not putting this in my waterline, just along the lashes. And then we be taking my brush and blending that out. Now you don't really want to use any black really in this type of look. You can if you're going really dramatic, but you just need a tiny bit. So I'm going to actually be lining my eye today with brown liner, adding some black mascara on the top lash, but on the bottom some brown mascara and some lashes, and I will be right back. So I left the mascara basically only on the outer corners, that way when I brought in the light eyeshadow that we used earlier, it would really, you know, bring the eyes out. I feel like my eyes look very soft. <laughs> I said soft so many times in this freaking video, but... I feel like I really achieved that look that I was going for. So now let's go ahead and zoom back out and finish off this face. Now I'm going to be going with my Tarte Blush and Captivating. This is perfect for so many skin tones, you guys. And I'm going to be taking this, just literally like right here. I'm going to lift up my elbow. Do not mind my Chewbacca arms. I'm working on it, okay? And I'm going to take it at the highest point of my cheek and swipe up like this. And now I'll lightly bring it down just to make sure it's nice and blended. But I really want this to be in the middle of my highlight and my contour. Um, I really got this from Nikita's makeup artist. He does this a lot. And he really just keeps it basically right here. And then I bring it a little bit on the apples and of course on the bridge of the nose. And on the chin as well. You guys can see, I feel like my face is getting very lifted. Now speaking of Nikita, we are going in with our Dragon Beauty Transformation Powder. You can see the difference, so nice, it's so perfect. Oof, look at that brightness, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it again on this side. Just really packing it right there to really bring the light right there. And then just sweeping it back, just at the tip. And I'm just go ahead and go in there and blend it. Kind of alongside the nose as well, and down here. Next, to bring this whole look together, you guys, we are going in with highlighter. And we'll be going in with a few different highlighters. Um, I'm going to first be going in with this Hourglass Ambient Palette. So I'm really going to take my brush and just go through all of them. And just really going right here. Just to start off the highlight. And you can honestly blend it everywhere. Um, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Just kind of blending it everywhere where we want some light to hit especially in the middle of my forehead because we mattified that because that does get pretty oily for me and then also right here which is really bring that light you guys can already see it brought back that light and then I'm just gonna be focusing on this powder and this one right here and we're gonna put that on the highest points 
Going there again on this side, on the chin, on the lip, and also we're just right here on the nose. Next, going in with my actual highlighter, this is going to be the Jouer um, Powder Highlighter in Citrine. So, yes, it's this color. It's a nice champagne gold. And this will actually be placed at the highest point of our cheekbones, on the nose, lip, chin. I'm going to go around my little acne spot. Now, I'm going to also add that highlight just right here. I don't like bringing down my whole bridge, but just like right there. And I'm also going to just tap it underneath the eyebrow bone. Not, nothing crazy. And the last step to the face is taking our Laura Mercier Ken Lake Glow in shade number two again on um, this really pretty MAC brush. You guys, look at the handle. So pretty. It's nice marble. And I'm just going to sweep this across everything. This can get rid of any fallout, any extra particles on the face, and just really bring everything together. This is seriously the secret weapon, you guys. Moving on to the lips, we are throwing it back to the 90s, you guys. We are going to be going with a darker liner and filling it in with a nude lip. For this 90s lip, we are taking the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Nude 1. And I'm just going to be kind of overlining my lips just a little bit. I don't like a whole lot of overline. Just enough. For the lipstick, I'm going in with Dream Date from ColourPop. This is their lippy sticks. Super inexpensive. I think they're like five bucks maybe. And this is going to be the perfect warm tone nude. And then we're just going to tap it on and let it blend in with the lip liner. And then I'm going to be taking my finger and just patting it. Now going into the KKW Beauty X Mario Super Nude Gloss. You guys, I'm really out of this. I'm really scraping for it. And this gloss is essential for this type of look. Look at this gloss. So beautiful, you guys. Only just a little bit. We don't go too overboard because we are going to be adding the She's Expensive Gloss from Patrick Ta Beauty. His beauty line is amazing. And I'm just going to be adding this onto the high points. And you guys can see that just gave us the extreme shine. Okay guys, so this is the completed glam. It is so, so beautiful, so soft, so plump, so mochi. I am obsessed with it. I feel like my skin looks literally amazing. I just feel like the definition of this look is just glam. It is so much fun. It's so easy to create. You guys can only create this with all your at-home products. You guys do not need to go buy expensive things to achieve this look. I really just wanted to bring a easy celebrity makeup look to you. I feel like everyone is rocking this and I really wanted to try it out for myself. A huge thank you to DHC for their amazing Urumai collection. You guys, I will have it linked all down below. Check it out. I have been living for it. I'm going to be taking off my makeup with the deep cleansing oil. You guys, it's amazing. I will show you guys how to use this on my Instagram stories. Don't forget to follow me on my other socials at Cole's World. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. I love you so much, divas, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.